Hi guys, my name is Katie or Kibi Does Art and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to model a cat tree. So I think first I'm just going to start with the base. So go ahead and grab a rectangle and let's scale it on out. We can also change the dimensions here. I kind of think I might do like a, I don't know, maybe like 0.5 and then do like a three by three. Are they mostly squares? I think they're a little bit smaller than a square. Maybe they're like a sort of rectangle, kind of like this. This seems good. And then I'll just do like five divisions on each. Oh, except for that side. You only need like one division on the side. Yeah, that seems good. All right. Next up, we're just going to be using a lot of like rectangles and things like that. Um, also, I'm going to scale this guy down. I don't want it that big. Maybe about that size. Let's grab a cylinder first. I'm going to do probably four main like cylinders and they're all going to be the same size so let's move it on over here and click r scale it down that kind of thing um and then i'm going to duplicate it Control d and move it on over duplicate it move it on over probably around like here and last one there we go so you're just Control d duplicate it all that fun stuff Next, I want to select, let's see if I can select all four of these and then go into vertex mode. Oh no, you can just do one at a time. Okay, so you're going to go into vertex mode and push it on up. Um, I'm going to make this one have really tall heights, so maybe about there. But this one, I'm only going to make go about halfway. Probably around like there. And then this one, I'm going to leave it at that really short height. But this one, I'm going to also take and move up. Uh, probably like a little bit shorter than that one. So we've got like four different heights going for us. All right. Next up, let's grab a cube. Now for this cube... I'm thinking what I'm going to need to do is bevel some edges. So let's go into edge mode and literally select all the edges and do control B to bevel it. Do two segments and make them super small. 0.05 is great. I'm going to scale this guy. Let's see. I think I'm going to make this my flat platform first. So let's just scale it up, push on over and it's just going to be a platform to walk on, basically. I'm going to push it down a little bit, probably around there. Let's duplicate that rectangle so we just have that to use. Um, that way the beveled edges are working nicely for us. This next one I'm going to push to be on this cylinder down here. I'm going to make it like a little bit smaller, maybe a little longer. There we go. I'm going to try and center that. And then next I want to go into face mode and I want to just double click I want to take these faces right here on the top. So just select those guys and do control E and uh, up the thickness on that. Like that. Oh, it's like a cute little rim. And then we'll have to go through and bubble all those edges. You'll have to do that by double clicking each of the lines. So just double click each of the edges. Control B to bevel it. You can do two segments as usual. Make them pretty small. And then of course we have to bevel the inside so it remains a rectangle there. Use those two segments. Okay, and then I guess I'm going to select each of these inside edges here and then double click on each of these outside lines to grab those as well. 
I'm going to bevel those. You can do two segments. All right, I guess we'll just leave it as a rectangle. That's fine. All right. Um, next up, let's take this guy, duplicate it. And this is going to be, let's see, let's click E and like angle it. It's going to be a little ramp for them to run on, little cats. So you can kind of angle it, push it against this guy. doesn't have to be like perfectly aligned since it's just going to kind of like sit into it. Like that about. All right. And then let's take this guy, duplicate it and move it on up. It's going to sit so that it covers this top one. And then let's click R and scale it on up. This can be like a little cat house kind of. So perch it so that it sits on that, like there. Let's grab uh, this cylinder and duplicate it. And I'm just going to move it on up over here. I'm going to use this to cut through this guy to get a little circle going. Uh, first thing that needs to happen, though, is we're going to extrude this guy, the whole object. And I'm going to up the thickness on it, like that. And then let's grab this cylinder and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. I'm also going to scale it up a little bit and push it. All right, let's look how that's looking in wireframe mode. Looks good. Goes through completely, so that's good. All right, then you're going to select Actually, let's make sure this is like centered. <laughs> select this guy, then select the cylinder and do mesh booleans difference. And that way it just goes right through. Also, if you don't want it to go like this, what I would do is take these vertices and move them down. And then you can just um, like take this object and duplicate it. That way you can see through the cat hole, but you still get the height of the cylinder going through. I'm going to push these vertices down just a little bit more to go through. Okay, got that all done. Last thing is just take this guy. Actually, I'm going to scale it up just a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to take this guy and duplicate it and just move it on up to be the very top. You want to center it though so it looks balanced on that part. And you can also duplicate that. Actually, I'm going to scale it down to be a square. There we go. You can duplicate that and push it on down to be on this cylinder as well. And just center it. All right. Next up, let's duplicate that guy. And I'm going to try and make like a path here so they're like connected. This and this, I mean. There we go. I'm going to duplicate this guy and just move him on over. And I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to make this into like a little house. And then I'm going to scale this guy up and push them together so that they fit together like that. All right, and then I'm going to do something similar for this side. Let's take that same cylinder again down here and duplicate it. And push it on into place. I'm going to rotate that. Um, let's see. I think it should be on the Z axis. There we go. I'm going to scale it up a little bit. 
make sure it's going through all the way, and then click this object, click the cylinder, do the same thing, booleans difference. Perfect. And then on this side, I think what I'm going to use to clip it is I want to make like almost a little like rectangular barn door-ish looking thing. So I'm going to use a cube and kind of shape it here. There we go. I do want it to um, kind of like shape here. So I'm going to bevel these edges so it looks like that. And then just push it on in. I'm going to duplicate that too and move it over here. But first, let's just do mesh booleans difference using that one. And then, oh, it doesn't seem like it went through all the way. First, make sure you take the main object, do extrude and up that thickness, and then click the object um, and hold shift and click the cutout, and then do mesh booleans difference. There we go. And then let's rotate this guy 90 on, I don't know, this axis? Should be on the Y axis. There we go. Um, and move it on over. Push it on in. I'll lift it up just a little bit. And do the same thing. Mesh Boolean's difference. Oh, that one didn't go through all the way. So push it in a little bit more then do it. There we go. Now it cut through. All right. That is basically it. You can kind of move around some of your sections to get them to fit a little bit better. Um, just to make them look a little bit more uniform. But that is it for the basics of a cat tree. <laughs> um, this one was kind of different, so I hope you guys liked it. Um, if you want, you can throw some really easy texture on it. I would probably like take all of the cylinders and maybe texture them like a really light cream color. Um, let's see. There we go. And then take all these like rectangles and make them like a like a mocha brown color maybe like that and then you can grab a plane scale it on up push it under I always add the checker texture to it which is located under that little checker button and don't forget to grab a sky dome light and do Arnold render. And that is basically it for your cat tree. Um, you can add more things onto it. Uh, you could apply like a carpet texture to it. That might be kind of cool. Um, you can also add like hanging toys on it if you've modeled some cat toys. Um, but yeah, that is about it it for this tutorial. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, but I will see you guys in our next tutorial. Bye guys.